Well, in high school football, it's seemingly a never-ending parade of big games. Each week, there's another colossal showdown between two titanic powers that will mean everything until next week. But this week, the hype might be justified as Coldwater, 6-0, two-time defending state champs, number one in the state for Division V, travels to Marion Local. The Flyers are also 6-0, also ranked number one in the state in Division VII. And as for state titles, yeah, they got those two the last three in a row. For the teams and the players, it's more than just that. As a player, like this is what you live for, uh, year in and year out, big games like this. This is when the big players will step up and you'll realize who really wants it more. For big games like these, this is what all the hard work over the summer's for. You know, cold water is cold water. You know, they're they're uh, they're good. Um, you know, they got a solid team in every aspect, and then they got a couple special players on top of it. Both teams have wins over Minster, St. Henry, and Anna. But while the Cavaliers' average margin of victory in those games is 15 points, the Flyers is 30. You know, I guess I guess it's in the back of your mind, but uh, two two of those we didn't have Brody, so that, that makes a huge difference. Um, Obviously, for our, you know, although Jack came in and did a really good job, um, you know, the run element, uh, it was not there. Um, so, you know, it, 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 you know, you always watch the scores and you say and, and compare a little bit, but, uh, you know, we don't really think about that too much. Coldwater quarterback Brody Hoying says he's close to 100% following the week two knee injury and he's seen increased playing time the last three weeks. A year ago, it was Marion Local with a question mark at quarterback. As Adam Berkey was injured the week before, an untested Dustin Rathman stepped in and led the Flyers to a stunning 47-14 victory. Uh, you know, our only regret with Dustin is he was just one year behind Adam, you know, chronologically, because we'd love to have him for another year or two. Uh, but really, um, Dustin is just a rock. I mean, he, he doesn't get up or down, and he's been that way since, ever, since I've known him. Well, last year, wasn't very experienced, and Adam and the coaches there helped me with the reads and what we thought Coldwater was going to do. So that helped last year, but this year I got a little more experience, and they probably won't. They'll probably take away some of the big plays this year, so we won't be having those as much. But definitely just uh, more more games under the belt this year. The two teams know each other so well. Both coaches says it will come down to execution and who can take advantage of opportunities. Yeah, I think both teams have a lot of uh, similarities and. Uh, and I really think, you know, especially looking at last year's game, um, you know, we weren't that much better than they were, but we were able to force some turnovers, get some turnovers, um, and capitalize on them. So I really think the turnover battle is going to be the difference. For us, I, and maybe they're saying the same thing, is to prevent the long, big plays. They've had, gosh, I don't know how many plays they've had over 50 yards this year. It's got to be, it's got to be 15 plays over 50 yards this year. So uh, try to limit those huge, big plays. And then uh, on offense, for us, it's not giving up. Uh, yardage, you know, um, um, hopefully our plan can, can, uh, you know, um, work well enough where we're not losing yardage and get in those second 10, third and 15s, all those, those types of situations. With the state champs, Mark Hoots, Sports Report.